Another cold Winnipeg spring. It was Mother's Day, four years since Betsy and I had adopted the boys in Ukraine. The wind shivered the elm trees while the four of us walked briskly on the dusty sidewalk. Peter moved in front of me, slowing erratically, so I had to avoid treading on his heels. He was nine, and his feet were big. Bowden scampered in front of Betsy, chortling at the birds and the sun and our impending breakfast. I held a shiny pink balloon, the kind you give recovering surgery victims in hospital. Two postcards were taped to the tail, and they flapped in the prairie wind. When we got to the schoolyard, we stopped in the middle of the soccer field. The only sound was the wind soughing through the wire fence, the only smell the swollen river a quarter mile away, beyond the trees. No cars passed. I read the first postcard out loud. Bowden had scrawled his message in large letters, and it had taken a lot of time and Betsy's help for him to write this out. Dear Mama, I hope you are doing good at your age. I miss you when I don't be around you. I am angry at you because you did not take care of me, and I am angry at you because you did not act like you love me. I am angry at you because you put me in the orphanage, and I am angry at you because you did not feed me and you did not brush my teeth. Love, 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 Bowden. When I finished reading, Bowden nodded his head and stared with his deep brown eyes into the distance past my shoulder. I am angry at her, he said. He did not remember his life before adoption. We had told him the story of how his mother left him and how he went to the orphanage with Peter. Then Peter read his postcard, which he'd written quite quickly, on his own. Dear Mama, I miss you a lot. I wish some day we will meet when I am still young. Love, 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 Peter. You don't feel angry at your mother, I asked Peter. No, he said. His long face was serene. I released the balloon, and the chilly breeze and helium pulled it up. It glinted above the brick school and shrank into blue sky until we could not see the postcards anymore.